The great Buddha once said, pain is inevitable, suffering is optional. This was a lesson that a young monk named Kiro had yet to learn. He had been living in a monastery for several years, following the strict rules and routines of the monastic life. He had hoped to find peace and happiness by devoting himself to the teachings of the Buddha, but instead he felt restless and dissatisfied. He found his meditation practice boring and difficult. He could not concentrate on his breath or his mantra, and his mind was constantly wandering to other things. He felt no joy or bliss, only frustration and doubt. He wondered if he was doing something wrong, or if there was something wrong with him. He also disliked his daily chores, which he considered tedious and meaningless. He had to sweep the floors, wash the dishes, tend the garden, and do other tasks that seemed to have no connection to his spiritual goals. He felt that he was wasting his time and energy on trivial matters, while neglecting his true purpose. He invited the other monks, who seemed to be more advanced and happier than him. They had serene expressions on their faces and spoke with wisdom and compassion. They seemed to have mastered their minds and emotions and attained some degree of enlightenment. Kiro felt inferior and inadequate in comparison. He began to question his decision to join the monastery and to wonder if there was more to life than this. He had heard stories of the outside world where there were many pleasures and opportunities. He had never experienced love, wealth, fame, or adventure. He had never seen the wonders of nature or the marvels of human civilization. He had never tasted the variety of food or the thrill of music. He had never felt the excitement of danger or the joy of freedom. He decided to run away from the monastery and seek happiness in the outside world. He thought that he would find what he was looking for and that he would be happier than ever. He packed a few belongings and waited for the night to fall. He sneaked out of his room and headed for the gate. He did not look back or say goodbye to anyone. He felt a surge of adrenaline and a sense of anticipation. He was ready to start a new life. Kiro was very happy in the world outside monastery. However, he soon realized that the outside world was not what he had imagined. He encountered many difficulties and dangers, such as hunger, thirst, cold, heat, disease, violence, and crime. He also faced many temptations and challenges, such as money, fame, love, and power. He tried to pursue them, thinking that they would make him happy, but he only ended up in more trouble and misery. He learned that money was hard to earn and easy to lose. He worked as a laborer, a beggar, a thief, and a gambler, but he never had enough to satisfy his needs and desires. He was often cheated, robbed, or beaten by others. He lived in fear and anxiety, always worrying about his survival and security. He learned that fame was elusive and fleeting. He tried to impress others with his skills, talents, and knowledge, but he never received the recognition and respect that he craved. He was often ignored, ridiculed, or criticized by others. He felt insecure and inferior, always comparing himself to others and finding himself lacking. He learned that love was complex and painful. He fell in love with a beautiful woman who seemed to be his soulmate. He thought that she would make him happy, but he soon discovered that she was unfaithful, selfish, and cruel. She betrayed him, broke his heart, and left him for another man. He felt angry, jealous, and bitter, always blaming himself and her for his unhappiness. He learned that power was corrupting and destructive. He joined a rebel group who claimed to fight for justice and freedom. He thought that he would make a difference, but he soon realized that they were violent, greedy, and ruthless. They killed, looted, and burned without mercy. He became a murderer, a bandit, and a rebel. He felt guilty, ashamed, and remorseful, always regretting his actions and their consequences. He realized that the world was full of pain and suffering, and that he was not happier than before. He realized that he had made a mistake, and that he had wasted his life. He realized that he had lost his way, and that he had forgotten his true nature. He decided to return to the monastery and seek forgiveness and guidance. He hoped that he would find what he had lost, and that he would be happier than ever. 
He gathered his few belongings and waited for the dawn to break. He headed for the road and looked for the direction. He felt a pang of sorrow and a sense of hope. On his way, he met an old man who was walking with a staff. The old man had a calm and gentle expression on his face and spoke with kindness and wisdom. He was a former monk and a disciple of the Buddha. He recognized Kiro and offered to help him. He taught him the principles of Zen, such as mindfulness, compassion, detachment, and acceptance. He showed him how to be positive in bad times by seeing the impermanence, interdependence, and emptiness of all phenomena. He helped him to awaken to his true nature and to realize that he had always been enlightened. Kiro returned to the monastery with a new perspective and a renewed enthusiasm. He resumed his meditation practice and his daily chores with gratitude and joy. He found peace and happiness in his mind and in his life. He thanked the old man and the Buddha. He smiled and said, pain is inevitable, suffering is optional. Thank you for watching this video and finding it useful. If you liked it, please show your support by giving it a thumbs up, spreading it with your friends, and joining Wisdom Quest, the channel where you can explore the secrets of wisdom.